live from this person's bedroom. <laughs> it's the 2024 Azran Concert Experience, subtitled Fantasies of Freedom. The new EP, if you're watching this live, the new EP releases on all services tomorrow. Probably right at the stroke of midnight, so like we're a couple hours away from being able to stream or purchase the music. But you can be the first to hear it live tonight. But before we get to the six new songs, that'll be in Act 2. We're starting with Act 1, because 1 comes before 2. And in Act 1, we're going to revisit several old favorites from the previous two albums. Those are already out. <laughs> and I'm going to be combining several of the tracks into a new experience. A new Azran concert experience. This is Ace 2024. Let's get down with the first one. You can see what I'm playing in the upper right corner. From Remains, The Haunted, The Hunted, and from Cover the Distance, Come Up for Air. This is my E minor duology. <laughs>
Next up, from Remains, Never Be Gone Again, and from Cover the Distance, Days Gone By. From Remains, the fan favorite, Monstrous Souls. And from Cover the Distance, the track of the same name.
From remains, the storm subsides, and from cover the distance, sunrise. From Remains, the track of the same name, and from Cover the Distance, hang on.
And to conclude Act 1, we have what I think will be the best, in my opinion, of the fusion arrangements. This is Entrails from Remains and Precipice from Cover the Distance. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed that little trip down memory lane with a new twist. Coming up in Act 2, we've got the six new songs. Brand new. No fusions on them, just original new songs. 
for the first time. I'm going to briefly hydrate. You may want to do the same. <laughs> All right, we're going to be moving straight into Act 2 now that I've had some water. I want to open by thanking Dayumi again for the album artwork that I commissioned. This is the new EP, Fantasies of Freedom. And I'm going to be talking a little more in between these tracks because with them being new, I've never really had the chance to explain them like I did the last two albums. And I'm kind of going off the cuff here. I didn't pre-record segments like last year. But, uh, yeah, you can see the artwork in the chat box right now with the flag. So, the theme with Fantasies of Freedom is I'm at a point in my life where I, I'm asking myself, I don't necessarily feel like I'm stagnating, but I've been doing the same thing long enough now that I am posing that question to myself. Am I stagnating? Am I not getting anywhere new? Am I missing some opportunity out there? So these are my fantasies of freedom. Where if I am trapped in my current situation, what would it be like outside? So, we start at the beginning of this album with something a little more upbeat. It's just, at the beginning of the album, I want to invite you all on this adventure with me. So, I'm extending to you an open invitation.
So yeah, we're opening on the jazzy note this time. So now I've invited you to explore this world that lies... I mean, frankly, it lies inside my mind because I'm still not even decided on the whole stagnation thing. Maybe I'm content with the way things are, but it's nice to at least know that, you know, someone out there is extending a chance to try something new. So, now in that vein, we've been invited to leave, now it's time to actually leave. The This Ain't War subtitle in parentheses there, uh, that comes from just some discarded lyrics. You know how it is with these instrumental songs, a lot of them actually do have some lyrics that are either unfinished or unperformable by me. <laughs> uh, so the sentiment here is, hey, I'm going to leave the current community that I am attached to and take that open invitation to explore some new opportunities elsewhere, but I don't mean anyone any harm. It's not like anyone did anything wrong. I'm not trying to start a war with people. But, despite the circumstances, I feel I need to leave.
So taking a step out the door would be the first step. I didn't realize how redundant that sounded until I said it out loud, but the first step is the first step. Yes, that is pretty much exactly what I said. Such words of wisdom. <laughs> but okay, so you're out the door. Where do you go next? What is your new direction? And that is what I'm at least searching for. If there, If I was to set off, what would my new direction be? So this song is about pondering that. And trying to come up with something bold, but still being indecisive about the whole thing.
And that puts us about halfway through the new EP. Still three songs to go. This next one has the weirdest backstory for a song that I have ever had. And I don't think you are prepared to hear what inspired this song and then what the song sounds like. <laughs> but anyway, you better prepare yourself because you don't have much time before I play it. Here's the story. Yeah, yeah, it sounds very similar to Wario Lynn Shake It. It has an extra up at the end. It also sounds very similar to a Taylor Swift song, but I assure you that this is nothing like that. <laughs> anyway, here's the backstory. One of my supervisors, basically the head of the school where I work, has a corner office on the second floor. It is above the main entrance to the building. It's a very nice office. It's got windows on two sides where the walls would be. Because, you know, it's in the corner of the building. So, the exterior corner is made of windows instead of regular walls. And you can see out onto the campus. And we have a very nice, well-maintained campus. So, you know, there's some nice nature to look at. It's a good view. Plenty of sun. And I borrowed the office one day to have a meeting with a student. This was on the up and up. I didn't secretly borrow the office or anything. The person in the office lets us use it. It's a whole, don't worry about that. But anyway, I had that meeting with that student in that office. And I just couldn't help but notice. Well, it's not my office. It's her office. <laughs> But we couldn't, no, we were doing the meeting in her office for reasons. I couldn't help but notice this lovely view that we had. And I'm like, wow, this is a great office. I'm kind of jealous of this office. And it's not big enough to be a classroom, so it can't really serve my purposes. But if I had a separate office, it would be a nice choice. Except, remember when I said that it's positioned right above the main entrance to the building? This song was inspired by the contrast between seeing the beauty of nature out these wide open windows, only for the entire office to literally shake any time someone opens the main door and it slams behind them. Because it's right above that door. So that's the downside to the office. It's a great office, except that it's going to shake every minute or so when some student comes back inside the building. <laughs> it, sh it vibrates. It's like, an, uh, it's like a mini earthquake <laughs> every time. So that's what this song is. It's that open air of serenity, only for it to be interrupted by a violent shake. And so I hope you're ready for that.
at the very least, I can say I had fun with that one. Now we've got the second to last track, High and Mighty. This is going to take on a bit more of a spooky vibe, similar to some other spooky songs that I've done before, but different. <laughs> and you know, while I was on that same train of thought about like that boss of mine in her lavish office, I also thought, hey... <laughs> The start of the school. <laughs> yeah, here's a little secret. Uh, she doesn't actually use her office, and that's why. <laughs> she has such a nice office, but she doesn't even stay in it. She finds any excuse to get out of that office. And so most of the time, she's not even in it, which makes it very easy to borrow. Especially since she's like, yes, take it. I don't want it. Get it away from me. But while I was on that same train of thought and I thought about this second floor office in this space, I had the thought to draw a little comparison like, hey, it's on the second floor, it overlooks everything, now I'm going to write a song about like someone in a high position of power. Although this is not a boss that I hate. <laughs> I should clarify that because in the past I have written songs about bosses I did not like. Uh, the high and mighty intonation here is more about complacency. You know, like I said, my boss doesn't even really use that office. So what's filling the space of that office that's high up above everything is complacency. It's ruling over anyone who is afraid to make a drastic change. It sits high and mighty on this throne like, well, you know you're not going to do anything. You know you're not going to take that opportunity. So... Here is the song of some non-existent dictator. <laughs>
And that brings us to the final track of the night, or at least in the main set. If you're watching this live, you can stick around for the post-show where we can play around, mess with possible chat requests, all that. If you're interested in that and you're not watching live right now, you can follow twitch.tv slash azrin127. Now that that message for the VOD audience is done, let me introduce the final track here. This is Discover. We're ending on a peaceful note. We've escaped the malevolence of complacency in our daily lives and realized that there is a whole world out there to discover. But there's various means of doing that. So maybe if you're not in a position to make a major move right now, just know that in some ways we are more connected than ever before. So there's still plenty out there to see. Plenty out there to do. Plenty out there to experience. And I hope that this has been a good one. The 2024 Azran Concert Experience. Thank you.